Hello everyone, welcome back. My name is Pravin Kumar Sriram. I'm a Microsoft Certified Trainer, author, currently working as a Solutions Architect in Azure. Today we are going to learn about a concept called Conditional Deployments in Azure Bicep. Let's head over to Visual Studio Code. In our previous video, we have learned how to implement conditional expressions to set the value of a parameter. However, today we are going to learn about conditional deployments. Let me create a new folder for today's session. Let me rename it. In our previous example, we have implemented a condition where if the environment is dev, the SKU name must be used as F1, otherwise S1 must be used. For this example, let's make a change to this conditional expression where we set S1 here and S2 here. If the environment is dev, we are going to use S1 as the pricing tier. If the deployment, if the environment is non-dev, then we are going to use S2. That's a change that I have made here in main.bicep. Now, now, Let's go to app service plan dot bicep. Let's also introduce a new parameter P E N B in this app service plan dot bicep file. And here let's add a new functionality of creating a new resource. So here we are going to create a new resource called slot. The symbolic name that I am giving is web app slot. I like to provide a name as staging. location as usual the location the parent of this will be our app service so let me grab the symbolic name of our app service in azure slots are very similar to app service maybe in a separate video we will learn more about slots for now here we will just focus on creating a slot so after giving the parent we also need to provide server form id server form id is the resource id of app service plan in which the slot is going to be created so let me grab the symbolic name of app service plan ID. Now this particular resource will be created within this app service plan and app service. So now what I would like to do is I would like to implement conditional deployment functionality for this particular resource. Now the condition is this slot is required only in dev environment. 
we don't want this slot to be created in higher environments. Basically, slots are used for testing the functionality as a kind of staging environment. We'll learn more about slots in the upcoming videos, as I said earlier. So let's implement a conditional deployment for this particular resource. It's very simple. All we need to do is add a if condition here. If environment equal to dev, that's it. So this block will be executed only if the value of the environment is equal to deb. Otherwise, it won't be executed. Let's save this file by pressing Control S. Now let's invoke. Now let's execute the script. But before that, there is an error in main.bicep as you can see here because we have introduced a new environment. Save the file. As you can see here, the environment value is set to dev. So the conditional deployment works only for dev. And because of that, the slot will be created if the value is set to dev for the environment parameter. Let's test it. Let's, let me run the command. It will take some time. I will come back once the command completes its execution. All right, the command got successfully executed. Let's head over to Azure Management Portal to see the new staging slot. As you can see here, staging slot has been created. A staging slot has been created successfully. Now I would like to delete this. It got successfully deleted. Let's head over to Visual Studio Code. Let's now change it to something else instead of dev. Save it and rerun the command. This time, the staging slot should not be created because we are running the script for non dev environments. The command will take some time. I will pause the recording. I'll come back once it is done. All right. So it took a while. Now the command got successfully executed. So now if you navigate to Azure Management Portal, we will not see the slot. Now, how do we ensure that the deployment successfully executed? So the way we need to validate is to check the App Service Plan pricing tier. So the App Service Plan pricing tier must be S2 with capacity two instances. That's how we validate the deployment. Let's navigate to Azure Management Portal. Let me refresh. We should not see the slot. Yes, the slot is not created. But when you navigate to App Service Plan, we should see the pricing tier update along with two instances. Yes, as you can see here, the app service plan pricing tier is set to S2 with two servers running. As you can see here, the app service plan's pricing tier is set to S2 with two in with two instances. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Feel free to provide your feedback in the comment section. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.